All right, welcome back to day 56 of building this log cabin for mom. <laughs> Remember what I told you in an earlier video? And then there was one. So I got the whole side over here power wash, or not power wash, but I, you know, did the clean like I showed you last time. I did the clean, I did the, the rinse, and it looks fabulous, darling. And uh, worked my way around this way. Ugh. And actually, this wasn't too bad. I just used the ladders there. I'm a pretty tall fella. And we only have to go up to right here, right? So it wasn't that big of a deal for me. I'm pretty tall, so no problem so far. Plus, uh, when I used the wand, I didn't show you all this stuff because you saw it yesterday. But, but when I used the wand, I just kind of put it on a more of a stream. And then I could reach up to those other logs without really trying to, you know, break my neck about it, you know. And since I'm by myself and I got these ribs, I got to be super careful because, you know, one wrong fall, it's game over for Dougie boy. Okay, so this is the other side here. Hold on, can you see it? It's still drying, looks very nice. Everything's going to be so clean. All right. We got this wall here done too. So now we're moving on. Oh, the chinking. So now we have to put in the backer rod. Remember I told you guys in between each one of these logs, we have to do the chinking. So we have to put a backer rod in first. And my house was a little bit different. The log cabin that I built for Stacy and myself, um, we didn't have such a small gap in between, right? There was a, you know, it's about two inches or three inches in some spaces. And what I did was I took some pink insulation, the uh, pink panther ins insulation, and I cut out strips, and then I inserted those in between the logs, and then I used that for my back rod, and then I chinked on there. With this here, this is a little bit smaller, and then plus, um, you know, some of the spots, the glue oozed out, so then that causes a little problem too, because this little back rod only rides in the groove that was provided for it, so anything that's in there is going to kind of push it out some, so. What's well, kind of crazy, this stuff looks like, uh, like fiber optic cable or something. <laughs> and it comes on like this spool. When you drive by, you know, you just see a guy with a spool and this wire hanging off of him. And he's just going down the log cabin there, putting them in the grooves. <laughs> I was just working a little piece of glue that was stuck right there. So when we were doing the glue at the first bat, you know, it was kind of messy to take it off, but I almost wish we would have took it off then. Because now it's gotten hard and it's, you know, it really does its thing. So it just makes it a little more difficult for you to get it off. Now there is one tip I could give you, you know, if you guys are going to do this, is make sure you wear gloves on this process because you'll be running your finger down these logs putting this in the groove because most of the time you'll see here in a second it goes pretty good if you, unless you got stuff in there see once you get the stuff in there then you got a little mess up so then you got to kind of work it a little bit I'm just kind of using this chisel it was just something that was close by that I could get you know that was right here and then you just get that back and right in there and then after we get this whole place done with this stuff we get to come back and do the chinking. So, you know, when you build your house, it's a labor of love. <laughs> All right, you hear that, Mom? It's a labor of love. Okay. Yeah, so, this goes pretty quick. But promise you, if you run your finger on here, you're gonna catch one of these uh, splinters right up underneath your fingernail. Don't ask me how I know, okay? But I try to share all this information with you. Because <laughs> I promise you it'll only take one time for you to have that happen. And you'll remember that I said that. Or you'll think about getting some gloves on yourself. That's it. You just put this back a rod in there. And you just keep going and going. Going and going and going. Let's see. Is there some of that glue? Just a little bit sticking in there. But you'll see how it stops you now what this is doing is it's providing a uh, surface for the chinking to stick onto okay and it's also closing in this gap so no air or anything's going to get in it all right and that's how you 
do it. And you just keep working it in. And I got to go back over there and get my uh, tool. We also got a, a load of wood here today too. I didn't show you guys, but I unloaded a uh, bunch of the tongue and groove for inside. So we're gonna start. We got to frame up a few more walls, and then we'll be moving on to uh, setting the electric. Once we set the electric, then we can put the tongue and groove up so you guys can see how all that goes too. Pretty tedious. I need to get the grandkids up here. They'll probably last for a little while, but they'll lose interest too. <laughs> but it's got to get done. I took the blade out of my handy dandy little uh, box cutter there and made a little tool for stuffing it in there. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to improvise with what you got. This is actually working out pretty good.
can't really take you up and show you what Stacy's doing today because she's not doing nothing. She's down with her aunt, her Aunt B, who's 92 years old. And so Stacy goes down and spends some good quality time with her. And uh, I am buckshot solo. So this is my life, the last day and a half. And I might honestly say this is the worst part of the whole build so far. It's just very tedious and time consuming and uh, you know with the glue and the in the grooves there that's a, a total pain it gets you frustrated so yeah so far this has been uh, this has been one you want to miss Gary <laughs> but I will uh, not stop until it's done so we're gonna get this done because I can't do any chinking or staining or anything until this is finished so we just have to stay mission focused and uh, stay positive think about the good stuff think about how we're almost you know we're over halfway done that's pretty good
man. Sun's going down. I don't even know what time it is. I lost track of the time. Lost track of the days. I'm going out of my head. I'm going crazy. <laughs> Come on, Leva. Comment down below if you know that one. Whew. It's not what you got. It's what you give. Man, I love that song. All right. Seriously, this is tedious stuff, man. I do not like this. And I'm crawling all over the place. I was able to get this whole mudroom side done. And I got that side over there done. And I'm going to have to get up early in the morning tomorrow and get back at it. So I can get this finished. Because then I can start chinking. And then once I get done chinking, then I can start with the stain. Once I get done with the stain, then we can put on the doors and the windows. And then once I put on the doors and the windows, then we can move inside kind of inside already but that's when you start doing like the floors and the bathroom and the tile if you're gonna get some so that's what I'm kind of pushing for to get inside oh, I've had enough of outside <laughs> but we got to get it done so we got to do is just keep plugging away one day at a time every day it's inch by inch it makes a sense yard by yard makes it hard sometimes when you think about these tasks and you think about all the stuff you have to do it just wears you out before you even get started so just remember if you just keep steady at it inch by inch picking away at it uh it'll become a cinch and you before you know it will be across the finish line so man look at that sun going down holy guacamole all right, well, that's what it looks like uh, with that chinking on there. Can you see it? <laughs> you can't see it. Molly's been a good girl. She stays right with me when Mama's gone. Isn't that right? But we got to go home and uh, take care of everybody. So on the next video, maybe I'll uh, drag you guys around the homestead before we come down here. And then I'll just be finishing up. And then after that, we'll get on with the chinking and stuff. If you guys got any questions, leave them down below. Otherwise, thanks for checking out the video. Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. They got... Uh, I'm a little tired. OffGridWithDougAndStacy.com. Okay, that's our website. It's official, and uh, <laughs> and we have some cool stuff on there. And Stacy has uh, released uh, her pre-sale of her fermenting book. So if you guys want to get into fermenting, if you want to get a good, easy guide, some of her best recipes, and she walks you through the whole thing, OffGridWithDougAndStacy.com. And uh, we expect to have those in your mailboxes by October, November is the plan. Uh, hopefully really September October We're working hard on it right now so we just got to get a feel for how many we need so Whew, that's it for me man that's a wrap it just wears me out you know it's all the crawling and the digging too like you know I'm pushing on everything in my uh, blah 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 I'll see you guys on the next video <laughs> but it does look great it looks fantastic doesn't it? Leave a comment down below. <laughs>